Hello everyone, welcome to Vital Cash. In this video, we aim to analyze various financial strategies, from traditional to innovative approaches, to help you make informed decisions about your money. Whether it's investing in financial assets, exploring new business opportunities, or understanding how to preserve your wealth in the long term, you're in the right place. One of the biggest lies that banks tell us is that our money grows in our bank accounts. The truth is, while money grows in number because of the interest, it doesn't grow in value or in real terms, considering the skyrocketing inflation and the lagging bank interest. Keeping cash in the bank is actually burning a hole in your pocket. Before we dive into exploring solutions, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any financial updates. Let's get started. Number 1. God's Money – Gold, Silver, and Platinum One of the biggest reasons why money is considered valuable is because it is used to store value for the future however governments today print more and more money to finance their deficits. Therefore, you never know when that piece of paper you call the dollar will become worthless. This is why financial gurus recommend investing in something valuable that is scarce and can't easily be created. This is the biggest reason why the rich have a portion of their portfolio always reserved for precious metals. Precious metals, such as gold, silver, and platinum, will always rise in value when inflation rips through the ceiling before the 1950s an ounce of gold could be bought for $400 in 2023. The same ounce is priced above $2,000, and according to Prime XBT's gold forecasts, this is supposed to go up to $10,000 by 2032. That is in about 10 years your gold investments will be five times what they are now. So while cash keeps going down, gold keeps going up. Similarly, other precious metals are also better than holding cash in the bank. If you are wondering how to gain gold exposure to your portfolio without buying physical gold, you can invest in gold ETFs. Gold ETFs are highly affordable investment vehicles which give you returns based on gold price movements without you or having to hold physical gold. 2. Industrial Commodities Raw Materials While scarcity is one reason why precious metals are so-called precious, these have natural utility value also, and this makes them indispensable industrial commodities. For example, silver is used in the production of electronics, medical equipment, nuclear reactors, and whatnot. Similarly, other metals such as cobalt, nickel, and copper have high industrial demand due to their natural properties that can't be easily replicated by alternative materials to draw a much clearer picture. Since 2020, the demand for cobalt has skyrocketed. The biggest reason is its crucial use in producing batteries for electric vehicles. Commensurately, its prices have risen from US dollars 20,000 per ton in 2012. The US dollars 40,000 in 2022. That's a 100 increase in just 10 years. Therefore, having exposure to such raw materials can significantly boost your portfolio in high demand phases. However, not everyone can invest huge sums of money in acquiring raw materials, nor can we physically store them or find the right buyers, therefore investing in stocks of mining companies, such as Rio Tinto Mining, focused mutual funds, or even derivatives such as futures and options are all great ways of gaining such exposure. 3. Safe Haven Currencies in the current world of fiat currencies, where no currency is backed by gold geopolitical stability is a crucial factor while investing your money. This is why the rich always keep their money in Swiss banks. Switzerland, having one of the world's strongest economic systems, offers a much more stable geopolitical environment. Therefore, the Swiss franc is considered a safe haven asset in times of turmoil and instability. We have seen this time and again, for example, during the Eurozone debt crisis in 2009 and in the global financial crisis in 2008, sizable funds flew from these countries to Switzerland to prevent wealth erosion due to currency depreciation. Also, the Swiss franc acts as a valuable alternative to the U.S. dollar for international trade. For example, during the recent Russia-Ukraine crisis, when the U.S. imposed sanctions on Russian energy trade, Russia executed trades in Swiss francs. Such events soared the demand for the Swiss franc, leading to its tremendous appreciation against all other currencies. In early 2023, one Swiss franc fetched 110. 74 U.S. dollars, making Swiss franc holders multiply their wealth overnight. Therefore, superior currencies, such as the Swiss franc British pound and Chinese yuan, are a great store of value. But as not all of us can open Swiss bank accounts, currency ETFs, and Forex brokers, help smaller investors gain currency exposure with as little as $100. 4. Sovereign Guarantee 
Have you ever looked at the dollar very closely? It has the words this note is legal tender for all debts public and private ever wondered what it means. Since 1971, when President Nixon abolished the gold standard, the dollar became the legal tender by U.S. law. This made it valuable as a medium of exchange, and we started considering it a commensurate repayment for any good or service. Although no fiat currency in the world is backed by gold or any other physical asset, they are still considered to be backed by the full faith and credit of the government. In plain terms, your money is as stable as the government that backs it. This is why investing in sovereign guarantee is a valuable store of value. The government of any nation is always the last to default. If the government defaults, the whole nation will default, and no strong government will let that happen. Therefore, one of the safest ways of investing in sovereign guarantee is through government securities or GSECs. However, only stable government GSECs with investment-grade credit ratings are advisable. Remember 2009's sovereign debt crisis. In Greece, IMF, Eurogroup, and ECB had to bail the company out of its debt multiple times. Therefore, a government's global strength should always be considered while investing in G6 in the U.S. You can invest in treasury bills notes and bonds to gain sovereign guarantee exposures, these offer better returns than keeping money in the bank. Also, they are backed by the U.S. government's strength in the global economy. Small investors can buy treasury securities directly from the government through the Treasury Direct Portal or from the secondary market. Value stocks and mutual funds treasury investments definitely provide a better return than cash, however. Because of low risk, they offer lower returns than stocks. And while low risk is a crucial investment criterion, for risk-averse investors, higher returns are sought by almost all investors and stocks are a great way of achieving that also not every stock is equally risky. In fact, the stock market is broadly divided into two types of stocks, value stocks and growth stocks. Growth stocks, such as technology stocks, are riskier because they deal in ideas and technologies that have a high failure potential. However, value stocks such as Nucor, which deals in industrial metals, are less risky due to established demand for the foreseeable future. Therefore, value stocks with strong fundamentals not only provide steady and stable price appreciation, but also provide stable dividends. However, researching the fundamentals of each and every value stock become very time-consuming and cumbersome for average investors. Therefore, dividend-focused mutual funds, such as the Vanguard High Dividend Yield Index Fund Admiral Shares with a stable dividend-paying history or ideal and affordable investment vehicles for retail investors. 5. Collectibles Vintage cars, rare art pieces, handcrafted luxury handbags, limited edition watches, and even the first edition of iconic books fall into this asset class. In the case of a regular car, the price depreciates by half the moment you put it on the road. However, the math works in reverse. For vintage cars like wine, they get more valuable with time. In fact, according to Autocar, a 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 Celari Lenhout coupe was sold in 2022. For an eye-watering 135 million euros, only two such cars have ever been produced, and therefore they are considered rare collectibles by car connoisseurs. Similarly, in 2017, Leonardo da Vinci's most controversial painting, Salvatore Mundi, was bought for a massive $450 million at a Christie's auction by a Saudi prince. The reason why the rich spend significantly high amounts of money on limited edition products is that these unique pieces are timeless repositories of value. They can fetch an unimaginably high price if you find the right buyer, however. For average investors, investing in collectibles can feel like a distant dream. Therefore, online marketplaces are fantastic options for selling rare baseball cards, comic books, action figures, and much more. And if you can't buy the whole thing, you can even invest in partial ownership of collectibles. And with that, we conclude today's episode on Vital Cash. I hope the information provided has been enlightening and stimulating for your financial strategies. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and share it with anyone you think might benefit from these financial discussions. If you have questions, suggestions, or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave a comment below. And most importantly, make sure to subscribe to the Vital Cash channel to not miss any financial updates. Thank you for being with us and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.